Hello everybody, today I'm switching out my Eco 185 submersible pump on my pond um, for the submersible pump 550 2000 litres par hour. No, it's 529 gallon per hour pump by Hydro Farm. I got off Amazon for about $45. The reason I got this versus a more expensive pump is the reviews I read in the more expensive ones are that they have problems anyways. So, a um, few things real quick. Has a couple of different attachment sizes on the box. Um, and the biggest complaint that I saw in the reviews on Amazon is that this little pre-pump filter that's in here gets clogged and, and the pump dies basically. But for us, we'll be hooking to the Tetra Pond submersible box filter um, that you can see in my other video. Um, the difference from this one the pump I have is you can make adjustments on the flow rate with this one. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and take this attachment off and it comes with this little attachment for inline use which is what we'll be doing because we'll be hooking that box filter to this. So I'll do this and then um, interestingly with this one, I didn't realize when I came this, this comes with a little um, aeration kit. So this is the top attachment here, and then it's got a little airline that you run to the surface of your pond, um, and when it's running, it'll pull air from the surface into the water that's pumped out and kind of aerated, which I will probably end up doing for my purpose. Um, and then let me switch real quick and I'll show you why I'm replacing my 185. So I'm still in the building stages of the pond, but I'm building this little water feature. This is gonna be kind of a bog with plants and work as a little bit of a filter going through some pea gravel there. And then running down through the stream, which I'm through still finishing. Um, but you can see the flow is a little lackluster. So the pump's supposed to do 185 gallons per hour. It goes up a couple feet. It loses some of the pressure and it doesn't pump that impressively. So this 550 um, gallon per hour pump should be like at least 400 gallons per hour um, after considering the elevation it goes up. So we'll see how it looks. I'm gonna switch it out here. Okay, so here's the pump up and running. Um, it definitely makes a difference. It's not overwhelming. That being said, um, it's only on half inch um, tubing. So I don't know if that can handle the full 550 gallons or 400 gallons per hour. Um, but also the aeration kit was for uh, three quarter inch tubing. Um, so I wasn't able to use that. I'll probably upgrade and I'll update the video um, if I was going for a purely aesthetic change, it doesn't offer a ton, but I'm really going to appreciate, um, the extra flow as far as keeping the water clean and moving, um, and the fish seem to like it. 